start these things and that's kind of like the topic of this video. <laughs> Last night I was at my friend's birthday party and it was a really fun party and it was a nice time and then we started talking about my YouTube channel unfortunately, sadly, scarily, I don't know. And I like just wanted to like crawl in a ball. I was like, ah, these people I don't know that well at all were like, you know, you make YouTube videos. I was like, ah, maybe, I don't know, not good ones. It's just a journal. Jesus, ah, it's scary. So yeah, that came up briefly. And they're like, what do you talk about? And I'm like, I just rant. And then I'm like, what do I rant about? I was just thinking to myself just now, I was like, what do I rant about in these videos? And I'm like, well, usually I just have like an overwhelming sense of anxiety. And then I just have just like talk until I feel a bit better or sometimes I feel worse. So honestly, it's like a hit or miss and it's a gamble every time. It's like Russian roulette, but with ranting and trying to make yourself feel better with your own self and nothing but yourself kind of phone, I guess. But yeah. That was a funny topic to come up. I was really scared. <laughs> and I think one of them from the party last night might look me up, so that's scary. Hello, if you're there, welcome. But also scary. And I just want to preface, like I have in many other videos, if you have watched me at all, I do this as a journal, basically. So I'm not doing this seriously. I do not like promote it in any way, shape, or form. And I don't want to do that. I don't like to say like the whole like, like, comment, and subscribe thing. I hate even saying that out loud. And last night, it was so funny, my friend that watches my videos was there, because that's how it came up. Oh my god, my iced coffee is making me burp, sorry. But the friend that was there last night, and it was her birthday, She she's one of my only friends that watches my videos, as far as I know, I don't know really, but like, yeah, she's, she's one of the people that follows my videos, and she's like, oh my god, I watched your frog video, I was like, oh my god, I can't believe that you watched that, that's so funny. It's really just me hanging out by myself, and then I throw on a camera, because it might be funny sometimes, or it might be sad, or scary, or I just like need the company of something, or someone and I have no one with me at the time. <laughs> Makes me sound so sad when I describe what I do on these YouTube videos. But yes. Okay. I'm gonna take a break from talking and I'm gonna have a sip of my heavenly drink. Okay. So my friend introduced me to this drink. It's an iced caramel macchiato. It is insanely good. I've had a caramel macchiato and I'm like, ah, it's great, it's fine. But like, I don't like hot drinks, so I never really ordered it. Except for like really, really on cold days, I might have like a couple sips and my, that's my husband's drink of choice, caramel macchiato. But on ice, I didn't even know you could do that, but it's fucking epic. Mm. Oh my God. It tastes like caramel cream. It literally just tastes like caramel and like whipped cream that's melted. That is what that tastes like. It is so fucking good. I used to not be a coffee drinker at all, and I even remember a couple months ago I had like a nice coffee from Starbucks, and I usually have it from Tim Hortons, which is like a lot more dyed down, diluted with like water and cream or whatever. I'm not sure if it's water. I'm thinking it's probably cream and milk. But uh, so I had like a Starbucks for the first time, like the coffee cold brew, and it was like caramel cream. It was actually not good at all. I did not like it at all, but. I have started to have like the caramel macchiato, which I'm sure that's it's coffee, yes. If you work at Starbucks, if you know Starbucks more than I know Starbucks, please come confirm to me if caramel macchiato is uh, fucking coffee because I am addicted to the iced version of it. And iced coffees are just really what's keeping me alive this summer, which is so sad and so scary. And like, I, I really wanna change that about myself in the coming months, but it is August, so like, I, I guess, that iced coffees in the summer of 2022 was just like my thing. And so speaking of like YouTube videos, back backtracking to that I guess a little bit, I think I'm going to make like a YouTube video hopefully for almost every day of the year, right? Like at the beginning I wasn't really that strict about it, but now I'm kind of strict about it because I've been doing so well about it. Because before I went on vacation I wanted to like get ahead of the game and like post more than enough for when I get back so I don't have to worry about editing for a while. And I liked to get into the rhythm of that, but now I'm not doing that. Like, I only have two videos upcoming. I think I have one today, one tomorrow. And it's because it's the weekend. I just didn't want to do anything on the weekend. So I think I'm going to, like, do one video as much as I can for every day for the rest of the year. And then I'm going to, like, reassess if I actually like making YouTube videos or not. Or I might just, like, keep this back and, like, not publicize it again. I might just, like, privatize everything and just keep my videos to myself and, like, not publish them anymore. I've been thinking about that, I'm not sure. It's just, it's just like, sometimes it's scary to like, post about my life, you know? Cause, I don't know, I, I I try to keep like, some things secret that are secret worthy and like, shouldn't be discussed, right? 
and I try to like not throw my like address or workplace out there, even though I don't work right now, so like come at me at my workplace, because I don't fucking work. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. Um, there's just like the safety aspect, I guess. I'm not really that worried about my safety, but like in the long run, I really would not want to have stalkers. I have a few friends that have dealt with like, uh, I had one friend that's like, I might have to get a restraining order against this chick, and I'm like, Jesus, that's such a fucking ordeal. Can you imagine hating someone and want, not wanting them around you that badly? And they are so persistent about it that you have to get a restraining order? That is so horseshit. That is so brutal. I can't imagine. That sucks so much. So, yeah, I never want to be in the position to go into that kind of ordeal, <laughs> obviously. Don't go here, man. Don't go. Don't. Don't. This guy just about cut me off, but I don't care. Now I'm going to go to one little tiny crystal shop just for one little tiny thing. And then I have been on the search today for a joint holder case thing because I had I had my joints yesterday at that party with me in a little Tupperware container because it was the smallest thing that I had. But it's way too big of a thing. They were like crashing around and stuff. And the second that they hit each other, they like bend a bit. And then one of them is like cracking a little bit, it looks like. And that's just tragic. I don't want to have that, that happen with all my joints. So I really want to have those joint holders. That's like a cigarette holder, you know what I mean? That's like a hard case and it, it has like leather and like a clip on it so it stays closed or whatever. Do you know what I'm talking about? I hope you do. I'm talking so fucking fast. It's actually kind of funny how like these iced coffees hit me sometimes. Sometimes I'm like, yeah, I'm totally good. I don't need to have like a break from iced coffees. I'm totally fine. And then I like get one sometimes and I'm like, holy shit, I am talking like a fucking crazy person. Speaking of talking like a crazy person, <laughs> there's just one thing after another, right? Uh, so the other day I'm hanging out with my two friends. Um, no, wait, three of us. Well, my husband, so like that's not a friend. So my husband and I'm at a friend's house and then we have another friend there. And my one friend that's a girl and my one friend that is a guy is there. So, um, and then the one friend that's a girl like talks a lot <laughs> like I am right now. So she's just like talking, talking, talking. And then he like, he, he like says out loud, like you're talking a lot. And I'm like, holy shit, I can't believe that someone actually just said that out loud to someone. So I'm in groups, very quiet usually. Like I don't really speak unless spoken to or like unless someone brings me up like my YouTube videos last night. Like I was kind of quiet all night at a party because there was like 15, 12, 15 of us. And I didn't know everyone. I just knew like half of the people there. So I don't want to like make it about me, especially because it's at a birthday party. I just don't want to like take over the room. Never have wanted to do that in my life. And I don't like to be the center of attention ever. Holy shit. He just like drag raced away from me. <laughs> Got the truck in front of me. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> zero to 60 in like one second, but he was going like zero to 100 in point one second. That was crazy. <laughs> that was hilarious. I hope you heard the sound of that. That happens so often where it's like either an ambulance is like passing me or something like that. And then we just had like this fucking street racer basically just there. Holy, I'm talking so fast. For the coffee break. <laughs> it's like uh, kicking a horse in the side, you know what I mean? Having these coffees. <laughs> or a drink of these coffees. I mean, not even a, not even just the coffee, but like one sip. I'm like, yeah, let's go. Woo! <laughs> I'm literally just driving around pointlessly on a Saturday. I realized that I took a wrong turn just back there. So I'm gonna go like the long way around to like go to this crystal shop. So I just wanna find if they have one this, this little herb thing that I've been trying to find. So this guy was like on my ass till just then. And now I'm like, why did I start talking about that? <laughs> Holy shit, okay. So this video is about nine minutes long and I did not fucking plan for that. So I'm gonna stop this right now. Have yourselves an amazing day. <laughs> Sorry if I'm boring sometimes. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye.